Hello and welcome to another little post-processing tutorial and yeah originally I wanted to do a little Q&A today about traveling to Morocco but yeah my recent vlogs about Morocco there wasn't so much interest in them and also I didn't get much questions to answer so I decided it doesn't make much sense to do a Q&A if I don't have the questions so instead I thought it'd be a good time to do a little post-processing again and yeah we're gonna work on this image here a bit which is one of the photos I took in the desert so it was shot from one of the higher dunes and you see the sea of sand which the Ark Shigaga is and what I want to show you is so here I have another photo which was taken just minutes before the other one and this is already completely processed and I did a lot of contrast and color work to get from such a flat image to this final image here. And yeah, now it would be a lot of wasted time, I think, to do all the same stuff again. So in the end, I want this photo for which I just did some basic contrast now. I want it to look similar to this one because those photos were taken just minutes apart. They're shot from the same yeah, location with the same light so they should look very similar and if I now go through all the steps try to work with curves and fine-tune the colors to get to an image which looks like this here um, this would take me a while but I can take a shortcut and this shortcut I want to show you now I want to match the tones and colors from this image to this one so if you ever have such a case where you have many photos taken in a very short amount of time from the same location you process one in Photoshop do a lot of work and while that's different actually if you're doing it in Lightroom you can just sync the settings and you're done but if you work like me in Photoshop you work with curves and stuff there's usually a lot of layers and I now open this final image here which I already processed and here I have the image I want to process now and I duplicate this layer. So the first step, let me show you again, was just some basic curves to get a little moodier here. But now I want to match colors and tones to the other one. And what I can do is just to go to Image, Adjustments, Match Color. And down here under Source, you can now select the other image, the Desert Claw in my case. And you see how it applies the colors and the tones but this is much too harsh you see up here it's completely blown out and also the dark tones are much too intense so what I have to do now is to fine-tune this blend and I can use this fade so let me bring it to 100% this basically removes the complete effect so I will just bring it up a bit so to smooth it out a bit I can go down with the color intensity a bit and also with the luminosity or luminance so I don't blow out those highlights completely and yeah, let's tune this a bit yeah, I think I'm gonna go with something like that and it doesn't have to look perfect yet so it's just the first step which brings me very close to what I'm after so I press OK and now you see what I did before I copied the layer and this is important because now I still have the original and here's the layer where I applied the toning and I can duplicate this one I set this to luminosity and the other one to color so now I can fine-tune the changes to the luminosity and the changes to the color separately and further tune the image to look as I want but first, let's go to Window, Arrange and tie those. Let's make this a little smaller so I can see both next to each other. So one thing I want to do first is put a mask on both of those and with a gradient going from black to white, I want to remove a little bit, let's use 40% of the effect that this toning or this match color had on the colors here in the brighter parts. So I bring this down here. So I just removed a bit of the color changes. And also, let's go to the luminosity layer. And you see that it made the bright tones here a little too bright. 
They can use blend if. Double click here on this layer and now just bring down this triangle, the bright, the white triangle. And if I hold down Alt, I can split it. And now I can create a very smooth transition on the brighter tones. So now I'm starting to get those very similar looking. I press OK and I can do the same here for the color layer. Double click and see if I can split it for the bright tones because um, most of the effect looks good on the dark tones. So there I think I benefited from it. But for the bright tones it's not ideal. So I use blend if a bit to get a better match. And also I can use a brush with black and like 10% and draw once or twice through the bright parts. But all in all, I think those images are now very close together and this just with a few clicks. So see where I was before. And now with this match color and those little fine tuning, I am very close to what I see here on the right side. What I did afterwards was just maybe one or two curves. So let's just use a curves, do a little more contrast, but also just for the lower part, so don't go too far here. With the bright tones, yeah, maybe some slight changes, but all in all, not too much. Let me show you the final one. So you see I added a little more atmosphere here to the bright parts but no magic. The real magic was just the match colors and this is what I wanted to show you. And you can try this for a few images. It's a little fine tuning needed, but with the yeah, tools I showed you, so splitting up in the luminosity and the color changes and then fine tuning those separately, I think you can very quickly match two photos.